Hi children, this is your social teacher Dutta Srima. So to, today we are going to learn the next lesson, parallels and meridians. Before going to parallels and meridians, we have to know about the earth. Okay, earth is a unique planet. We can find the locations and directions and everything. That too, now we are going to learn the parallels and meridians on the surface of the earth. Okay, my children. So, to find the location of the places on the earth, we need set an imaginary lines. Okay, we need imaginary lines. That lines are called as a parallels and meridians. Okay, what we have to know? The set an imaginary lines on the surface of the earth. We are having some lines. That lines are called as a imaginary lines that are parallels and meridians. A parallels and meridians, there are two specific types. So, in the first we can know after the earth rotates on its axis. Axis means what? We are having one line. Okay, this is called axis. That means a basement. For example, we have a cycle. Cycle is there, no? For that cycle we have this one wheel. Okay, at the, at the center point we have some axis. For what we will use that axis? To run this the cycle. Okay, now to run this wheel on the basement of this axis. Okay, now children, the cycle is working. So, in the same way, we are having some axis in this path. parallel and meridian lines. It is an imaginary line drawn through the center. The end points on this axis are called poles. So, we are having this axis. Okay, the end two points we have. Okay, two points we have. The first, the top we have the north pole. And this we are having south pole. These are called as the axis. These two are the end points. These are called as the poles of north pole and south pole. And next we can know briefly about the parallels. So children, after we completed now that about the axis and also poles, we have two different types of poles. That is the top we have north pole and bottom we have south pole. So now we can know briefly about parallels. Okay now, parallels. Are parallels are a set of circles drawn on the surface of a globe. These circles run from east to west. They are called parallels or lines of latitudes. Now children here we can see this diagram see the parallels are having a set of circles ok now they are running from east to west. These parallels are called as lines of latitudes or parallels. The earth is divided into two equal parts by drawing an imaginary line in the midway between the north pole and the south pole. So we will have a line from here the poles so from in the middle we can't see in this but we will have a pole in this middle okay now these two poles are called this is the north pole and at the end we have at the bottom we have south pole this middle we call as an axis okay this uh, circles are drawn now from east to west okay the midway between this north pole and the south pole these lines are called equator this line is called equator so here we will in the middle of this we, this is called as the equator okay now children it is the longest parallel and also the part of the earth which lies to the north of the equator is called northern hemisphere or northern hemisphere so these equators are having this northern hemisphere the other half is called southern hemisphere so it lies to the south and this lies to the north now we can know about the important features of parallels. Before going that, what is the name we are having in the la la Latin words? That is a latitude and also meridians. The word latitude originates from the Latin word latus, which means wide. Okay. The word meridian originates from the Latin word meridis, which means midday. Okay, now children, meridians means midday and latitude means wide. Okay. It is from the word meridian that we get words such as anti-meridian and meaning before known and post-meridian PM. Meaning 
afternoon that means morning is called as a anti meridian that is called as a am after our lunch okay after 12 it is called as a afternoon it is called as a post meridian so anti meridian is having a am and post meridian is having a pm okay na that means morning session we are using am and afternoon session we are using pm okay na children next we can go important features of parallels all parallels are a complete circles except for the north pole and the south pole these are points in the before diagram we know that okay now here we are having some circles now these are the parallels we are having from east to west and also the two poles we are having north pole and the south pole the length of the parallels decreases as we move away from the equator and towards the poles that means the circles are running no then what happens the parallels will decrease okay the wideness will decrease and the equator will move towards the poles and all parallels are located at an equal distance from each other that means they are having the same distance from where to where east to west parallels neither touch nor cross one another so here in the diagram of parallels they are crossing each other next how are parallels numbered okay how are parallels numbered we start from the equator and mark it as a zero that means zero degrees latitude we mark the other parallels from zero degrees to 90 degrees apart from their values the parallels are also marked north or south according to their location so here in this picture we can see children we are having here south pole 90 degrees as in the bottom and top we are having north pole 90 degrees north and also we are having here equator 0 degrees okay now so the south pole is having 90 degrees and also so north pole is having 90 degrees and equator is 0 degrees according to their location the north pole is written as 90 degrees n that is north the south pole is written as 90 degrees s the parallels are drawn at intervals of 1 degree okay how much interval they are having here for the parallels they are having 1 degree parallel okay na children there are 90 parallels in the northern hemisphere and 90 parallels in the southern hemisphere therefore there are 181 parallels in all including the equator already we know here 90 degrees n and 90 degrees south so this is having 180 degrees so and here we are having the interval of 1 degree now so by adding all these we are having 181 parallels including the equator and now importance of parallels so in this uh, picture see children once other than the equator we are having 0 degrees and the north pole we are having 90 degrees and in the south pole we are having 90 degrees south there are four other important parallels okay those are the tropic of cancer okay na the tropic of capricorn the arctic circle the antarctic circle okay na so we are having some degrees here okay the tropic of cancer is having a 23 half degrees north that is nothing but the equator that means in the north the top of the north we are north pole we are having a tropic of cancer 23 and half degrees north and arctic circle we are having 60 uh, 66 half degrees north and in the bottom we are having a tropic of capricorn that is a 23 and half degrees south and antarctic circle 66 and half degrees south okay na children this is the importance of parallels here the arctic and antarctic circles are also called polar circles which one are called as a polar circles arctic circle and antarctic circles are called as a polar circles